Hey Feasters and welcome to episode 166 and we've got an awesome show for you if you get 50% or more of your clients from word of mouth. And come on, let's face it, we both know you do. Welcome to the Ask Res Podcast. I'm Jason and I'm here to help you get past those bumps in the road, those struggles, those things that hold you back from building an amazing and profitable freelance business each and every single day. The funny thing about marketing and sales really is that when something starts to work for you, you want to know what that next thing is. What should you try next that's going to work? In the book Traction by Gabriel Weinberg and Justin Mayers, which is a book written for startups who want to grow and build a customer base, it dives into 19 or so different channels to essentially get traction, market your business, but market it in a way where you're dominating the channel that you are getting traction in. It's not a book that tells you to try all the 19 different marketing channels. It's a book that tells you to completely exhaust one channel that's working for you to the point at which you start to almost see a decline. Yes, this book is mainly designed and written for startup SaaS companies, but I'll be honest with you, much of the methods and strategies can be used for consultancies as well. Now, I know that 50 plus percent of your new business and sales comes by way of word of mouth. And you are no doubt falling victim to the thoughts and pressures that your marketing is based off of someone else's words. And well, that's a valid and honest assessment. It's perfectly understandable and definitely something you want to consider adjusting. But instead of thinking about diving headfirst into ads or social media or some other form of marketing, have you thought about why the 50 plus percent of your business is word of mouth? Maybe it's due to price or quality, knowledge, availability. To be honest with you, it's probably a combination of several of those things, if not all of those things. Can I share with you what the reason for why word of mouth is such a big portion of my business? It's because I make the technical aspects of what I do easy to digest and understand for my clients. I know this because I asked. I asked clients what they liked about working with me, and I asked those who were referred to me what it is that they heard about me. Now, is that something that I would sell or put on my website? I do now, but I had no idea until I asked. People are four times more likely to buy when they are referred by friends. Word of mouth generates two times more sales than paid ads. Think about your own buying habits. Do you look at reviews? Do you ask your friends and family for recommendations? Or do you eagerly wait for those two minute and 20 second breaks in between your favorite TV shows? If word of mouth is 50% of your business today, and your best customers are coming out of those referrals, then I ask, how much effort are you putting into your word of mouth marketing? My guess is that it's the bare minimum. There are seven things you should be putting into your marketing right now to help promote yourself by allowing your existing and past clients to refer you. The first thing is ask for referrals during and after your project. Every single milestone you have with your clients should be an opportunity where you are asking clients if there's someone else that they know that has a similar problem that you just solved. Number two is simple. Ask for reviews. Then put those reviews, which are also known as testimonials, on your website, in social media, and all these other things. Number three is create a referral program. These are easy to do nowadays with things like Rewardful and Affiliate WP. Number four, create an incentive, right? You don't have to go on to a full out referral program, but hey, if an existing client gives you a brand new client, give them a break or a gift on their next bill. Number five, create a podcast and invite your industry leaders, influencers, and other individuals with strong ties to the market onto your show 
and give them the opportunity to talk about their knowledge. Number six, create a memorable experience for your clients and customers. People share experiences and stories. They don't share code. Well, developers do, but business owners don't. And finally, number seven, as I mentioned earlier on, share your reviews and testimonials and other nice things that people say about you and your business on your website, social platforms, and even in your email signature. If you're doing all these things, then awesome. Well done. Move on and test the next channel as the guys in traction suggest. But if not, why not double down on what's working for you now and dominate all of that so that the word of mouth marketing stops becoming happenstance and becomes more predictable. If you have a question, ask Rez. Find me on Twitter at Rez or head on over to Rez.com and let's have a conversation. There's a little chat bubble in the bottom corner. Go ahead and ask your question. Until next time, it's your time to live in the feast.